What is going on, Ben Nation? We've got news to report to you. Ben Armstrong won the IFC Championship. Uh, there should be a belt, I want to say, that they're going to be displaying at some point. Uh, I would. I mean, there should be a belt, shouldn't there? I don't know. Maybe not. But if there was, then Ben, Ben Armstrong is now your champion. Going into the main event of Karate Combat 44 and annihilating his competition, taking a first down knockdown. He got surprised. He got shocked. And guess what? He came back stronger and harder and faster and ended up winning this fight. An incredible accomplishment, something that you guys know he's been focused on for a very long period of time. Uh, and, and more light, uh, shout out to him. But he represented everybody who's been attacking Ben Armstrong for the last, I want to say, six to nine months as the um, heathenous, villainous dirtbags that he formerly associated himself with, tried to and are attempting to steal his company from him. But did you notice something in the title of this video? Did you notice something in the title of Ben's Bit Boy is back? There's going to be more on that coming very, very soon. But I think it should be of note that I'm not scared of you, Carlos. Neither is Ben. Neither is anybody for that matter. Um, there's a lot going on, a lot in the background. And it's going to be a really fun time. So without further ado, let's get into the chart action. Let's get into the price. Let's see where we kind of fit in. The U.S. market hasn't really been open. Uh, it, it's going to open up very shortly. And we'll see how everything looks. So first up, uh, you can see here we have that nice, really, really big pump. And then, uh, of course, as is um, as is the case, we had a, a big sell-off coming down. And then the volume on Ethereum, very bad over this weekend. Uh, you can see that on my live stream today. We'll be talking about volume over the weekend. Very, very low. Uh, despite that we got a nice little resurgent pump in the uh, Ethereum network and for Bitcoin for a while. Not sustained, but still really good. And I think that you know Ethereum is sitting right around the local high right now. Gas fees, pretty high. Uh, a lot going on, but not volume-wise. We're not getting a lot of tr trading happening uh, over here on the broader chart. I mean, we did exactly what I said we were going to do. Now, I do expect this reversal here to happen. Uh, we've tested now the 100 MA. So a reversal here, of course, is imminent. And since we're minting, uh, as you can see right here, as we just continue to move up a little bit, a little bit each time, uh, find that bottom. So uh, I think that we're going to end up pumping above this previous one right here. I think you'll be hearing a lot about things going on in the background over the next couple of days. You're going to get kind of a, an idea of what's happening in the Benverse, if you will. And uh, your leader is going to take his victory lap. You should see it on his live today. Uh, a lot of good time was had by all. And also, I do want to point out, um, Ben came out with, I pride myself on being an effective speaker. I had a victory speech plan, thanking Steak, join Bencoin, Doghouse Boxing. I was going to tell my kids I love them for once. I'm proud I, I failed to sound eloquent. I said everything that I needed to say in that pit. Uh, so yeah, just having a little trouble with the uh, breathing portion of this. But look, guys, um, BitBoy walked into the arena, came out the victor, hit network. You're on the clock. You're 15 minutes. It's almost up. It's not financial advice. My name is Believes. I'm always right. Check me out today on Spaces, where we'll be talking a little bit more in depth about what happened over this uh, fight and this weekend. And uh, see you again soon.